today we're going to be covering the clove hitch for our next knot of the week video. Uh, again, if you guys like these knot of the week videos, uh, leave us a comment either in the YouTube videos or on the post and let us know that these are working for you or what we can change to make them better. So here we go. With the clove hitch today we're going to be teaching two different ways to tie it. Uh, the first being this method um, right here. You're going to start off the line on the post or whatever you're going to be tying onto and you're going to make a loop around. Uh, one of the important parts on this step is to ensure that your working end is long enough to complete the clove hitch. Uh, you don't want to get to the end of the knot and find out you don't have enough to, to tighten it. So you're going to make one wrap around, um, coming over the standing part of the line, come back around, and this time you're going to tuck underneath right here of the standing part. And you just want to squeeze that together and tighten it up. And there's the first method of tying clove hitch. The second method is to make two opposing loops in your line. So first you want to let's see, you want to twist once, twist twice, and what you're going to do with these loops now that you have opposing loops is just stack them on top of each other and slip them over whatever post you're going to be tying onto and tighten them up. And there's a second method of tying a clove hitch.